The Nuke Party supporters spent two days in different police detention facilities following their arrest on Wednesday from the Nuke offices in Kamocha, Kampara. Some of the 43 suspects were charged before the city or magistrate's court with violating the presidential order to prevent the spread of COVID-19 pandemic, an unlawful donning attire meant for the armed forces. Other 31 suspects were charged at Buganda Road Chief Magistrate's Court. The Noob supporters who seemed unwanted as they chanted Noob and Pupua slogans were later remanded to Chitalia and Chigo government prisons until 23rd of October as investigations into the matter continues. <laughs> Noob spokesperson Joe Senyonyi says they expect more of their supporters to be charged in court, but they will not be intimidated. Defense and Army spokesperson Brigadier Flavia Biekwaso was quoted as saying that some of the suspects would be charged in court martial for being in possession of military attire. It really is to, to instill fear, okay, such that uh, they, they derail our campaign process and our paraphernalia. But, but ultimately, yes, you might take away the shirt of Bobby Wine that I'm wearing, but you won't take away my love for him and NUP and people power that I have on the inside of my heart. So all these things really that they are doing, it's like fetching water using a basket at the end of the day. Elsewhere, a group of civil society activists have condemned the raid on Noob party offices and the arrest of Noob supporters. They demanded their unconditional release. Clearly, what we see is not even an isolated attack on a political entity, which is Noob. We are seeing a clearly calculated attack on all forms of citizen organizing, on all forces of democracy in Uganda. So we are going to still work together as a team uh, within our framework to be able to ensure that they are, get fair hearing. Meanwhile, police have dismissed as baseless claims by new President Lobachi Agudaji that some security operatives flew drones over his residence in Magere, Waxo district on Thursday night. In this video, which was widely shared on social media, Chagulanyu is also the Chadondo East MP. He's seen in the night showing the drones. Friends out there, you don't have to worry. Apart from evading on my privacy, I'm not worried about them. According to his Ascari, you know, there were army men and police officers that surrounded the home. Uh, they didn't know what their next move was, whether they wanted to break in or that kind of situation. But thankfully, when we made a lot of noise on social media and put it out there, they freaked out and they fled. Okay. About uh, a drone uh, which is alleged to have been uh, uh, directed towards his home uh, deep in the night. I don't know whether it is a habit that he comes out at night and uh, moves around the compound. But on this very occasion, he came out and... Uh, the video that we saw was a dark video and with the, uh, uh, something shining in darkness. I don't know whether it could have been identified at that very stage as a drone. But of course, uh, we know very well that uh, the number of people who have drones in this country, the media, uh, private people who have, uh, private, uh, who have these drones with them, for purposes of entertainment and also security for purposes of policing and surveilling public events. So this complaint of his is something that is still in social media and uh, we do encourage him to come and uh, raise a complaint. We have our cyber forensic teams. Ivan Chimuchigozi, NTV.